those employees that have excelled in commitment and loyalty. And um, the first award goes to uh, Mr. Ewole James.
and the club under that. Next time we might do the thing. Congratulations. Uh, this goes to Madame Ajimo Solomon, uh, a senior assistant accountant, that is the sub Ajemo Solomon, for commitment and loyalty. Uh, Atucho Evelyn, 
a tu cho igli de plana and the choir member plana choir member singa pa coming at this the next goes to Opi Martin, yeah. yeah. assistant yeah. records officer. Opi Martin in the registry. Opi Martin. Ladies and gentlemen, dangerous substitute. And the next one is a pure Epel Rita. Dangerous. She looks the part. The next to that is the Omachar Simon Peter. Omachar Simon Peter. As, as that one comes, you can take the next one. Because you have already to leave. Yeah, I'm not going to Thank you. After Peter is a pure Esesa Lidia. Esesa Lidia. Angora Kanina Kanin Kaninba. As she comes. As she comes, as Lidia arrives. The next one is Big Betty Angiro. Big Betty Angiro. I like the moment you are here. One after Betty, Big Betty is Moko Paul. Moko Paul. Come dancing, come dancing, you are dancing. <laughs> and creative in service. So another one is Oguere Samuel.
goes to the employees that that do innovation and creativity. Innovativeness and creativity is not just sitting in your office and waiting for government to give you resources to perform. You should be seen to be doing certain things your way. And besides, even when you are allocated resources, try to innovate within the available resources. So we have a few employees that have uh, excelled in this category of being innovative and creative in the service. And we are calling upon all of us to be innovative and creative because the world is moving very fast. So that we are able to catch up with technology. We should involve ourselves in research and very many other things. And the first uh, word goes to, in that category, goes to our call Stephen Robert. A teacher in Toroma Girls. He's a teacher in Toroma Girls Primary School. He's also a catechist. And when this teacher is placed in a rural school, the children in P1 are able to read and write like the Kampala pupils. So it takes a lot of innovation and creativity for somebody to do that. So Mr. Hall, Stephen Robert. The next uh, person okay. deserving this award is Mr. Ekunyu Moses. I don't know if he's available. He's a choir. He has gone for Maki. He deserves that award. He took one of the biggest schools in the district and the performance shot up. It takes a lot of innovation and creativity. And the next goes to uh, Madame Ilepus Alice Mera. No, this is a different award category. Sorry, I beg your pardon. So those are the few people that deserve the awards for innovativeness and creativity. The, there's another one. Sorry. There's one more. I hope this is the last one. For innovativeness and creativity, the last award goes to none other than Dr. Emuron Joseph. So, so doctor deserves that award. I want to explain. Doctor is a specialist in emergency medicine, and when you have even an accident now, you will be sure of ICU in Kataki General Hospital. Did you hear that? You will be assured of that. So we want to award him and recognize that service. Uh, mothers go to Soroti or go for referral without paying for fuel. So he's a, an MS of Kataki General Hospital and he's really very uh, innovative and creative. Uh, the next award category uh, is the, the smartness of the employees. <laughs> yes, and you know in government there are uniformed employees and then the non-uniformed employees. The uniformed employees are the nurses, the midwives and the doctors and therefore they are supposed to be dressed in their white garments, white coats and all that for identification, for easy identification by the patients, by the clients. But some of them, because they want to do the work, they appear like us, the civilians, and that is not nice. So, for smartness uh, in the category of uniformed people, we take it that you should be in that uniform and smartly dressed with your belt, with your cap and all that. And then uh, for the rest of us, there is what they call corporate wear. For the accountants, you're supposed to be tying your necks. You should be wearing some ropes around your necks. And that is the code of conduct. You should be putting on ties and all that. No hanging, no hanging shirts, no casuals in the office, no t-shirts in the office and all that. So uh, this is the award uh, category that we're going to, to give to recognize. And the first goes to 
Mr. Oluka Fidel, the town clerk at the town clerk. We, we can all see that as he comes. Okay. 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 Goes to Asio Topista, she works in Katapi General Hospital, and you can see this madness. Oh my god! Allow me to go down. I think you will get healed just by looking at her smart person. And the smile. And the smile. Don't forget the smile. with all the other the, the other attributes and a person should be able to move an extra step to serve the people and the, and the person should be able to sacrifice get out of your comfort zone and all that and this award goes to none other than Dr. Simon Omeke Ichuma. small about the employee of the year. I think there was a time recently when the RDC, the district chairperson, were managing the distribution of nets. And the, I think there was a problem in some road and they couldn't cross. And I saw, and most of us saw, how the DHO came out of his office to sit, sit on a motorcycle to cross, I think, Okore or something. To make sure Angisa, I think Angisa, everybody knows that. So I thought that was exceptional and it was more of sacrifice to me as a person. So for me, I think it deserves the award. Thank you. Uh, the next, uh, we have some gifts for the, uh, the choir. We have some gifts for you. And then the, the Reverend Father. And then, uh, and then the, the church leaders of the Anglican Church. So I will be, I, I think I should start with the, the choir. This will be presented to you by the, the district chairperson. Please step forward and receive. I don't know whether you'll all come with your songs, or I don't know.
Father Remy, we have something small for you, fuel.